Mother's Day is a special day, and to all the mothers in Rhode Island, happy Mother's Day. Today is a day for us to honor you and cherish you and show you our love. Now this year, Mother's Day is going to be a little different because we can't necessarily go see our moms and we definitely can't get together in big group family gatherings. But I hope you'll all find a way to show your mom how much you love her and how much you appreciate her. And we'll get creative and we'll have a wonderful Mother's Day. You know, us moms spend our whole lives keeping our kids and our family safe and healthy. And so that's what we have to do today for each other and for our moms. Show them love, but do it in a way that is safe and that's healthy. I also want to take a minute this morning to thank all of the moms on my team who've been working overtime for the past two months to keep the people of Rhode Island safe. So starting with Dr. Alexander Scott, you see her every day working hard, but did you know she has a nine-month-old at home and this is her first Mother's Day that she'll be celebrating? Um, she's doing a beautiful job balancing it all. I'm so proud of her and the state is so lucky to have her. We also have Commissioner Angelica Infante Green who has two beautiful children of her own and Rose Jones who runs Elderly Affairs who has four children. My Deputy Chief of Staff Lisa Vera Weiss who's on the front lines working around the clock managing her two children. DHS Director Courtney Hawkins has a beautiful little girl herself. These are the women who have been working seven days a week, day and night, for two months to keep you safe. And I am so proud of them and so grateful for them. And then they also, at the same time, have been balancing the needs of their own children and their own families. So on behalf of a grateful Rhode Island, to all the moms on my team, I want to say thank you. I also want to take a minute to thank all of the moms who are having to get up every day and go to work and take care of their own families. And there are so, so many of you. We honor you and we are so grateful for you. And on behalf of a grateful Rhode Island, thank you for your hard work each and every day helping us to fight this coronavirus and keeping Rhode Islanders safe. I'm talking about doctors, nurses, CNAs, home health care workers, folks who work in a nursing home, grocery store clerks, people